So she's eating until 31st of December every day. After that, then she will disturb me. Even like my sister, I plan for six years. Uh, I tell my sister, hey, you eat, uh, this is very good. No, no. <laughs> the one. The one. <laughs> Recently, after our fourth jab, our fourth jab vaccine, so she said that uh, her heart beat fast. Uh, betul? Uh -uh. And so I said, you makan lah. Okay lah, sebab dah kena dah. Uh -uh. Apa-apa makan lah kan. Uh -huh. Dia makan dua bulan, lepas tu saya tanya dia, okay tak? Uh -huh. Dia cakap, uh, since I makan, dia tak berdenjuk cepat dah. Dah Pers normal lah. Normal. Uh -huh. Tapi dia tak, dia tak, dia tak berhati. Uh -huh. dia, dia pergi hospital pakai monitoring for 21 days. So scientifically, because you got keratin. Kan? So a lot of people Because we talk about scientific leaf mm -hmm. You know it's just like thick leaf mm -hmm. Like thick leaf Thick leaf uh, Thick leaf tea uh, is good for diabetic patient Especially with insulin Because it lowers down your sugar level mm -hmm. right? It does not cure your pancreas It leaves an active ingredient called quercetin and vitaxin In your intestine to prevent glucose uptake Okay So we read a lot of journals being published So what I did is that I fund, uh, collaborate with Madi, I funded, spend I think around 100,000 just for lab rats, right? Buy the lab rats, we diabetics, the, diabetize the mm. lab, lab rat, mm. then we take the extract, we cook, masuk, then see the sugar level go down. After that, operate them, check for other internal toxic. Mm -hmm. You know? Because that is very important. Yeah. You're going to cure your sugar, but it affects other the of your internal <laughs> organs. So everything no toxic. Right? So, so we know, that's why we encourage people to drink uh, uh, fig leaf tea. For fig fruits, what we do is that um, kita buat essence of fig fruit, just like how I freeze dry the fig. So, so we inject the, the, the party of the fruits. Then every, every day the tikus jogging, swimming, check the performance of the stamina. It increase. Okay, it increase. Until we overdose. The lab rats, the heart cannot take it. It bursts. So, so we know that this one, this pig give you a lot of energy, but you cannot over consume it, right? So mm -hmm. from there, the dosage, uh, from from let's say from uh, 10 mg, we will lower down to one mg consumption. Per hour. So that we know the maximum limit, you cannot take a lot. But the the whole thing is that we know once you take pig, you are very energized. So you cannot drink fig juice or fig in the night. Mm. Mm. You, can, you only can consume it in the morning. So it gives you the whole day energy. You consume like 9, 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you, your eyes are open. Mm. Uh, so so it, each and individual fruits, when we want to plant and commercialize, we do the proper research first. Then we do acclimatization. We try to plant in Malaysia because nobody plants like lemon, we are the only good lemon grower. So we, we do acclimatization, we learn how to plant them, how to feed them, how to train them, right? Then when how to harvest the yield are okay, then we do a big scale. Uh, it's just like this, this plant. This, this is an achai berry. Which one? The pumpkin on the pot. You heard about achai berry, right? You haven't seen before achai berry, right? This is an achai berry plant. It's a four-year-old plant. I planted four years ago for trial. See whether it can grow grow it can bloom the fruit can be set the quality of the fruits are good if it's successful then we plant it still uh, so so here we here we do like that so every year we commercialize one fruit lah. like this year we commercialize uh, a cake gooseberry uh, we are in the we are in, we, we are in the middle of acclimatizing uh, goji berry we want to sell fresh goji berry rather than dry goji berry mm. 
you know? So, so we are in a, hopefully we are successful. Next year we will commercialize goji berry. Mm, that's good. So we, we, mm. we plant all fruits with mostly imported ones. Just like pig. Uh, the, the importer, uh, the one we are supplying is called Euro Atlantic. Their brand is First Pig. You know the Korean strawberry you see First Pig, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. uh, that is the brand. So what they do is that they, they, have, they have been importing pig for 20 over years. So they found us, they found us, now we are supplying to them, uh, they no more import for 2 years. And our pig, uh, you, you go other farm and our farm are different, because we are commercialized farm. We pluck our fruits according to the indexing of commercialized. You know, other, other farm, if you've been before the pig, yang besar-besar sebab dia berat, dia nak berat. Kita tak ada, kita rugi, kita rugi almost 2 hari. Kenapa? Kita nak dia punya buah last longer so that your 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 fruit will not spoil, there's no waste. Natural lah. Ah, uh, natural tak waste. Hmm. Tapi dia orang nak besar sebab dia nak berat hmm. sebab dia orang beruntung Kos, banyak. Untung. Nak untung. Ah. Nak untung. Ah. Tapi padahal you balik 2 hari dah rosak dah. Macam mana nak consume cepat-cepat? Kalau you nak you nak mak, kita advise with orang, you makan 3 atau 4 biji eh, satu hari. You jangan makan satu kilo habis sebab you punya badan tak boleh kons, 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 Betul, update. Tak boleh you buat macam lah. overdose lah. Overdose lah. Ya, you, you faham tak? So so we want our food to last 5 atau 7 hari. Then enough time for you to finish before it spoil. Okay. Tapi dia orang dia nak berat. Dia orang nak buat Mungkin mungkin saya punya buah lebih kurang 24 biji ke 26 biji 1 kilo. Dia orang punya 18 1 kilo. Hmm. So imagine the, the, I, I lost so much weight on the fruit just because of the shelf life. But in commercial commercial international standard you have to have like that. Tapi orang tamak kan. Uh, so so it's just like I got a farm in Batang Kali. Oh, you got also? Uh, oh. uh, organic vegetable mm -hmm. farm. Uh, that one is not owned by me. I designed and built for the late Madam Lin, uh, the daughter of uh, Tan Sri Lim Tok Tok, oh. Genting Group. Mm -hmm. okay. So that, that, that organic vegetable, what we do is that we plant vegetables, mm -hmm. I teach you. We plant, beginning when I planted the vegetable, we plant, we, we sell very young vegetables because um, uh, Malaysian, everybody plant vegetable, dia nak berat. Uh -huh. Kita nak muda sebab be before it turns to fiber, hmm. kalau sayur tua, dia fiber aja. Hmm. Kalau dia muda, that is the nutrients we want to eat for vegetable. Hmm. Kenapa orang cakap, oh, you makan microgreens. Sebab microgreens tak ada fiber, it's all nutrients. So macam bayam kita, kita petik 16 hari, orang petik lebih kurang 26 hari. Bayam kita besar ni, you cut one inch from the root, you eat everything. And it's not, you know curly kale? You know curly kale, kale, yang salad orang buat. Curly, curly kale, kerinting, kalian kerinting yang orang orang gila, uh, it's, a, it's the most super food, super veggie of the world, nutrient dia. Orang jual besar ni, batang dia besar-besar ni, kita jual besar ni, muda, you boleh makan semua, batang you tak payah buang. Kangkung kita, kangkung kita tinggi ni ya. You imagine kangkung you beli besar ni kan, batang ni you buang berapa banyak, kita Yelah, makan kangkung. Ambil, kadang-kadang ambil tahun je. Ha. Kita makan kangkung tinggi ni, potong sikit, makan semua. Yelah. Why? We don't want to feed you with fiber, we want to feed you with nutrients. Oh. So, so that, that, that farm, what we do is that she, she, she wants, uh, she asked me for help to, to help design and build. So my condition is that you give me 20 uh, degree holder graduates in agriculture because my mission is to create next generation farmer. Okay. Can. So, so there I have 20 degree holders. Some are with honours. Some with honour, first class honour. Eh? Uh, so we plan, we send to rumah bakti, rumah orang tua, rumah anak yatim, semua kan. So, so we started there in Covid, wherever got white flag, then I go lah. Then after that I said, uh, Madam Lim, we sell a little bit of the vegetable. Lah. Say no, I don't need the money. You just give to charity. Mm. So what I did is that rich I, enough. <laughs> rich enough, but yes. it's good. Yes. Right? 
So what I did is that I went to Beacon Hospital, you know, the cancer hospital. So I, I, I heard they do some charity foundation work. I said, I want to donate vegetables to all the patients in your hospital, which are admitted. He said, sorry, we don't take donation. Although we do charity, we don't take donation. We believe in working hard, earn, and give to the foundation for charity. We don't we don't uh, uh, open my hand and ask for money. So I said like that, okay, but how 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 can I help the needed one? He said, okay, uh, we have you know the bacon chicken, the bacon mud. So he said, you sell the vegetable in bacon mud. The the, the earning proceeds will go to the foundation to help people. Oh. So I said, okay, but with one condition. You sell cheap. So I will, if you go Beacon Hospital, you see an organic vegetable brand under all for you. Because Madam Lim said, we plant all for you all. All and then for number four, no, right? No, all, F-O-R, huh? Y-O-U, all for oh. you. Right? So we, we sell our Kailan. Our Kailan is this one. Our Kailan, our Sipak Choi, our Nai Pak, mm. our Bayang, same price. Thailand more expensive than yes, Chai yes. Sang, kan? That's right. Uh. right? So, we saw, because it's all greens. Is that the cancer one that we went to? Uh, can they have the cancer patients? Uh, Beacon Hospital in PJ. Oh. In the uh, state there. The hospital. They they give a maximum of... Uh, if you have chemo, uh, you have cancer, you do chemo or radio. Uh, they, they, they check your background if you are really uh, poor. Uh, a maximum of 2,000. Oh. If it... If, if, if it's more than two thousand, you only pay two thousand. If your if your if your whole treatment, uh, uh, um, uh, I think twenty over thousand or thirty thousand, you only pay twelve thousand. So every month they take around ten breast cancer patients. They give free treatment. So with that earning, the foundation they are helping people uh, So so you go if you so happen you stay in eh? stay in Klang. Ampang. Ampang. Ampang, you see Beacon Mart. They have 17 outlets. We supply 16 outlets. Only one outlet, Tamantu never take place. So you can see all for you organic vegetable. What we do different, our concept different. In our farm, we don't have walking chiller, fridge. We don't have. The outlet order today, we collect all the orders. Tomorrow morning, we go and harvest all our vegetables. And then transport. Then we 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 spray spray rings. First rings, second rings, dry, we pack. The same day we send it out. We we don't keep our vegetable three, four days in the fridge already. You know? It's just like fresh. So they sell within two days finish, some within one day finish, tomorrow they order again, then we harvest again from the ground. Mm. So if you go there, if you want to if you want, then you order from them, then they will order from us. Kita tak macam harvest-harvest berlambak-lambak, lepas tu simpan boleh jual tak boleh, tak ada. Sebab kita tanam 60 jenis sayur. Kita tanam sikit-sikit-sikit, tapi banyak. Uh, so you have variety, macam kita punya uh, kacang bendi. You ambil kacang bendi kita, you makan terus, sebab pun boleh. Sebab dia, biji dia, is a Japanese variety. Biji dia satu kotak, botol macam ni, Pak Atul lebih. Tapi, Saya tanam itu kenapa? Dia tak miang. Hmm. So pekerja saya petik, hmm. dia tak miang. Yalah, bendi kalau ikut kan miang kan? Miang, hmm. miang. dia tak miang. You, you dekat pokok tu, you macam ni, you petik, you terus makan. People are surprised. Dia jadi ulam lah. Dia jadi ulam. Hmm. Sebab kenapa? Kita petik yang kita bukan petik tua. Dah tua. Ha, dia yalah. tak ada fiber. Second, hmm. macam kita punya, second dia punya variety dari Jepun. Second, macam kita punya choy sam. Kita, kita tanam choy sam. Choy sam actually a family of komut sunah. Hmm. Kita tanam komut sunah tasai. Berarti dia tasai. Kita tanam choy sam. Kita tanam choy sam. Kita tanam choy sam.
Kan? So, so banyak orang dia, dia tak faham tau tu yang masalah dia makan salad tu. So, so dia tak payah nak makan supplement nak buat apa benda dah. Yeah. Ke? Because if, if you that's why we share our knowledge with people who visit us. If you consume the right way, it does not mean that you need to consume in bulk. Kalau you orang cakap tiap-tiap hari you makan sayur memang baik. Tapi tiap-tiap hari you makan sayur yang fiber tinggi, buat apa? Kalau you nak makan bayam, you nak dia mempunyai kalsium untuk you punya tulang. Kan? So, so you makan you, you makan sikit cukup. Tapi is yang is full with nutrient. Macam kangkung, orang cakap you only need 100 gram of kangkung a day. You don't need to eat a lot. 100 gram of kangkung is very little lah. 100 gram of kangkong enough to supply the whole calcium for your whole body for 24 hours. Kangkong is the best calcium uh, nutrient intake for vegetables. So, kalau you makan kangkong, you, 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 you think ah, makan kangkong, you masak kangkong. Saya makan lima setengah kilo. Oh, saya healthy. You punya badan tak boleh absorb. All you need is 100 gram of kangkong to supply your calcium for 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 your whole body. You, you makan 200 pun, you buang aja. Ya, yeah, betul? <laughs> you, you, you faham tak? So, Malaysian, we are not there yet to know what we are consuming. So, it's a waste. It's a waste of money. Right? So, if you know proper properly that, just just like what I told people, uh, like we have mulberry juice, we have fig juice, we have passion fruit juice. You don't need to take every day. You take alternate week. One week gag, one week fig. One week more berry, then come back one week cat again, mm. one week pig, one week more berry. Then your body consume the right balance of nutrient. And how much does it cost you? Six ringgit. Maybe six ringgit plus one week. Right? One week, just a cup of juice. Because I price it for affordability, because I want everybody to afford it. So one cup of juice is only six ringgit plus. I think it's affordable. For one week. Yalah, six ringgit divide by seven days berapa je kan? Ah, berapa aja. Hmm. And a fresh in, one. In yeah. in in US, we we can we can market this for almost around uh, per box of twelve sachet. We can market around uh, maybe slightly around fifty dollars. Right, because of the technology, because of the technology. So so like like all the yogurts. Uh, later can, can, where is the uh, this one? Let you try the yogurts. You try the yogurts. Maybe you've seen in the market lah. Okay. But you try this is freeze dry yogurt. Okay. 100 percent cow milk with real fruits. Uh, no preservative. I see. No coloring. Okay. And no artificial flavor. Yogurt. So yeah. this is mm, yogurt. This is freeze dry. When when it when 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 it hits the sliver, it rejuvenates back mm -mm. to yogurt. Yep. Uh, come. So so we make all healthy healthy snacks lah. Take journey back. Thank you. Plano. Yes yes. Tapi Thank you, you very much. Pandai. Sebab kenapa? Tak ada traffic jam. <laughs> wow.